Hello, my name is Detective Melendez. Would you mind stating your name for the record, please? Hello, my name is Marley Hoffman. I'm Esmeralda Alonso. Indy. Indy Sawyer, sir. And just so we have it on the record, you are choosing to come forward with this information voluntarily, correct? Correct. Thank you. On Friday, Pamela Brown contacted us and told us that her husband, Kenneth Brown, had gone missing. Well, it's now been 48 hours and we are currently searching any and all possible connections. Do you understand? Uh, yes, sir. I'm just, I'm not sure how I could help. Well, to start off, what brought you into town? You go to Upton University, don't you? Yes, I'm a student there and it's our spring break this week, but I came in early because my dad, Ronnie Hoffman, it was his birthday on March 10th. Ronnie Hoffman, right. He's your adopted father, correct? Right, sir. So before the 2010s, when the Hoffmans adopted you, you were in the custody of Pamela and Kenneth Brown, correct? Yes, sir, they were my foster parents. You were with them for about 10 years, huh? Do you know why they might have chosen to not pursue adoption with you at that point? They had other girls in the house and I tried to be quiet. The Browns didn't notice me much. All the girls must have been a lot for them. They didn't notice you because of the stress of all the children? Would you say that you left the Browns' house on good terms? I mean, I was young and I, I don't remember. Stayed out of the way and didn't cause trouble. So the last time you communicated with Kenneth Brown was then. You never thought to reach out at all? Yeah, I mean, he never wanted to see me, ever. I understand. And you are celebrating your father Ronnie's birthday the night of March 10th, correct? Yes, my whole family was there. We had you come in here today to discuss the disappearance of your former foster parent, Kenneth Brown. Doesn't that bother you at all? No, I haven't seen that man in years, so there's nothing to talk about. But you still live in town, correct? Yeah, and? I just assumed in a small town like Summit Village it would be hard to avoid your previous family. No, I'm not really a social person. Interesting. I would assume that being a bartender you would have to know your customers. Yeah, I can be friendly like the next person, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be up everyone's asses like some people. Now that you know everything about me, can I leave? Kenneth Brown doesn't have other family in town besides you and the other girls. You all happen to be in town right now, so we're just trying to cover all our bases while we can. But, okay, let's, let's start over. So you haven't seen him in 10 years, no communication. How were things when you were in the house? Well, him, we didn't really go around him, and the wife was never really there. Was he an alcoholic? Was he not around a lot? I'm just trying to figure out why all the kids were avoiding him. I mean, this town knows him to be a very good man. He's reliable, respected, sensible even. Yeah, well the town assumes they know fucking everything. Even then they thought things were fine. I don't know why you want to talk about the past now. This interview should have happened a long ass time ago. Why do you say that? Like I said, we didn't go around him. Esmeralda, you're not implying that you wanted Kenneth Brown to go missing. Fuck you. A detective like you would try to put words in my mouth. I only came here today because I knew Pamela, not for some fucking therapy session. You're reacting pretty strongly for somebody who hasn't seen the man in 10 years. I just want to know, you stayed in the same town as him, but you never patched things up with him? Like I said, I didn't come here for a fucking therapy session. Okay. Where were you Friday night, 9 p.m.? I was picking up my brother from a basketball game. And after that? After that, I had wine with a friend. With who? Indy Sawyer. Yes, I had wine with a friend, Esmeralda Alonso. Friend might be an understatement. 
Weren't you two once sisters? Yes, we stayed in the same foster home, but we were adopted by different families. That's right, separated after the Browns. Did you ever resent your families because of it? No, I don't see the Browns and I'm very happy to be with my family now. And you're in school now. Same school that your sister, or sorry, your friend Marley goes to, correct? I guess so. Marley and I do go to the same school, but as big of a university as Upton is, you never see the same person twice. So you've only had connection with Esmeralda? We made sure to make time since I was coming back home for spring break. Do you usually come back for break? Not every year, but for some holidays, yes. I'm sorry, how is this relevant, sir? How does it happen to be a coincidence that three of Kenneth Brown's foster children come into the small town of Summit Village on the same day he goes missing? The only thing different in town is Marley and yourself. But you two don't keep in touch. Same university and no connection. Just like none of you have seen Kenneth Brown. Why would a good man go missing? Indy, why? I'm not sure, detective. Maybe he wasn't a good man. Remember us? Remember Rosemary? <sighs> Esmeralda thought the same thing. Seems to me like you two are holding some bad blood for Kenneth Brown. Seems to me like you are holding bad blood for this poor man. Where were you, really, Friday at 9 p.m.? I was leaving the basketball game because I announced the prom court at the high school. I think you want to pin a missing persons case on three innocent victims, detective. Victims? You see yourself and the others as victims? What if I told you that the other girls said that they know that you know where Kenneth Brown is? What if I told you I think you had Kenneth Brown go missing? What would you say then? Then I'd say, you know nothing. You don't know me or the girls or what happened in that house 10 years ago. You don't know what every girl that went in and out of that house had to endure. You don't know the fear that that man made every girl feel. That fear will stick with them for the rest of their lives. No, I don't know where he is and I know the girls don't either. And I know they didn't tell you that I do. You wanna find him? You won't. A man like him doesn't want the skeletons coming out of his closet. This is for you, Rosemary. I came home to reminisce on the good times I had in this town. You want to pin his disappearance on someone, blame it on himself. But you have no charges, no evidence, and just my statement. So, Detective, am I free to go? After the game, you met with Esmeralda. You shared a glass of wine at the bar she works at. Yes, detective. In that case, you're free to go.